The island we went to was supposed to have been secured by the ground forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there, so now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat, making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down, so none of us knew what the hell was going on. The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. They stole some jets and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. I wonder if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away at morale. Since the radio was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Passenger, not military. I knew that rose. It was an erosion liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, my father, a man who was never really suited to being the king, was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane was shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After all those speeches I gave, about working together for peace. I thought everyone felt the same as I did. <gasps> I'm sure the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Arugia. He was Arugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. as one of their dogs approaches and sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. Tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works! I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. And then, very softly, she said, You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. Just what did you see here? Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Forbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erusian officer. At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is, or what our mission will be. Radio communication is still patchy for both the military and civilians, 
so we're getting zip from Mission Command about our orders. Still, with countless Erujian forces in the area, it's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, regarding Count's suggestion to think about self-defense, uh, I think we should make a break for Tyler Island. It was a large Ocean base before the start of the war. Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according to plan, the base may already be in allied hands when we get there. Though based on what Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. With so much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want to do. If Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. It's decided then. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. Although we can avoid the Arsenal Bird's anti-air network, there's still remnants from the Erusion forces. I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Pick a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our playthrough of Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. You know what else is unknown? Everything about this mission. My call sign is November 9, and I am going to take the plane that holds the most missiles and bombs. And... I think it's this one. Although I'm not in love with eight air-to-air -air missiles, so... The six air-to-air -air missiles... Or the four air-to-air -air missiles... Let's look at the Mirage. So we got the automated fire extinguisher... And self-defense jammer. All right, so I don't know if that is near to enough missiles, but I guess we're going to find out. We're going to find out if the Mirage can stand up this late in the game. Let's go. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. SSG. Allied aircraft. A retreating vehicle is taking fire. Requesting assistance. Roger. Got a pilot. 
Positive ID. Targets at machine gun range. We're under attack! Update us on Tyler Island. Couldn't be worse. Our forces are scattered and on the run. They're on the run? Our air support is here. We were waiting for retreating units here to carry them out to safety. Strider 1, target destroyed. Thank God! Friendly birds! Caution. Caution. Do me a favor, Longcaster. Many of our allies are cut off. We need support and an escape route. Understood. We'll do what we can. Let's help retreating Ocean forces. Take out any hostiles Nicole. in their area. Nicole. Don't engage Nicole. till targets are ID'd. Nicole. The boots on the ground don't see more people shooting at them. Thanks. We've chaos out there.
Hunter 1, we've identified the unknown targets. Identify them. Visual. Like an eagle. Watch it. Enemy has a lock on you. Identification complete. It's Erosion bombers and their escorts. Count's prophecy has come true. Take out all bombers. Or they'll flatten our allies. Really? Plenty of civilian casualties as well. Precision bombing is impossible in these conditions. Maybe they know they can't. We're gonna drop them all. Longcaster, we're uploading the latest ID data. Check your TAC terminal. Hold your fire! I don't Confirmed. Hold the info is from an allied AWACS. Hold your fire! Oh, Roger. Fire. But what are we supposed to believe? Who should we follow? You guys got out alive. You have time to figure it out. Don't let anyone other than a Rusian airspace unit into the base.
An explosion inside! Continue the countdown. The enemy's not stupid. They're after the supply ship. Do the countdown! There's still one arsenal bird left. If we can fill it full of bombs, then Arusia will have a fighting chance. Use cameras to track the supply ships. Don't fight with your backs to the supply ship! If it's hit, we're done for! All aircraft, search every nook of the island. We're not leaving anyone behind. Get moving! 
ships have been launched from the mass driver. If the supply ships make it to the arsenal bird, they'll be able to resupply it. They may be loaded with new weaponry that we don't even know about. We have no choice but to take down the supply ships before they can get within the arsenal bird's air defense network. You've got to hurry or you're not going to make it. Three minutes to the enemy's air defense network. I'm usually pretty good at playing tag. Nickel. All aircraft, we made on high alert. Nickel. We got bandits in coming on radar. Nickel. You're gonna have Nickel. to forget about him for now. Focus Nickel. on destroying that supply ship first. Nickel. We're sitting ducks like Nickel. this. If we let the supply ship get too far away, we'll never be able to catch it. Do they really think they can continue to dodge? The target's using cloud cover to hide itself. Don't worry, we know where it's headed. I can't get a lock. Your plane will ice up if you stay in there too long. Once again, there's just, I think, an unrealistic demand for the amount of missiles to complete this, so we're just going to retry it from a checkpoint. The supply ships have been launched from the mass driver. If the supply ships make it to the arsenal bird, they'll be able to resupply it. They may be loaded with new weaponry that we don't even know about. We have no choice but to take down the supply ships before they can get within the arsenal bird's air defense network. You've got to hurry or you're not going to make it. Three minutes to the enemy's air defense network. Missile. All aircraft, remain Missile. on high alert. We got bandits in coming on radar. Missile. You're gonna have to forget about them for now. Missile. Focus on destroying that supply ship Missile. first. We're sitting ducks like this. If we let the supply ship get too far away, we'll never be able to catch it. I hope the payload can Don't overshoot. Fox 3. Not bad at all, Trigger. operation fails. We have failed everyone who helped. Missile hit. Did you see that explosion? Looks like that's one of them down. 
Remember, there are two supply ships out there. Hurry up and shoot the other one down. We've recalculated the remaining time. Two minutes to the enemy's air defense network. We're still in this. You think the mother hen really wants them? Trust the plan for the full loss of communication. 90 seconds to the enemy's air defense network. Don't lose them! The missile hit the supply ship dead on. 60 seconds remain. Hope you all enjoyed the pretty fireworks. This thing had any windows, we could have seen it for ourselves. Nice work, team. We're gonna find ourselves a boat and leave this island. We'll be taking the refugees, along with any deserters from the Russian military. Who's the girl that ran at the tanks with the smoke canister? A few more crazies like her and life down there may have been a tad bit easier. What do you think would have happened to those refugees if you hadn't intervened? The princess saw what happened. They were little kids. That's why I like the sky. You don't have to see those types of things. Does this mean we're that much closer to ending the war? No, we just basically prevented it from going on forever. Count's right. We have no choice but to return to our original base. Our base that is nearly out of food and fuel. We need to do something. Good. Okay, so at long last, we finally finished this mission. We had to restart. I mean, quite frankly, you're going to need all of the missiles you can carry to accomplish that mission. Um, if I had unlocked the tech tree a little bit wiser, we could have been using the F-35 with tons of missiles to spare. We can now afford that airplane. So that's that. Um, I am really not sure what's left of the erosion military to go after because I've shot down more airplanes than they can possibly own. However, there still is the enemy ace and at least one of his wingmen that I've yet to take out. So with the F-35, I think that'll be really just a matter of child's play. However, uh, I would love to see later on if I could do it with the uh, fish bed. Anyway, uh, any likes, subscribes, always appreciated, and I will catch you on the next mission.